Okay, in this video, we will be adding mixed numbers with unlike denominators. And these are the three problems that we will solve together. And so let's begin. So this is the first problem. We have five and one third plus three and one six, and we wanna know what it equals. So the very first step is we notice that this is a whole number, this is a fraction. This is a whole number, this is a fraction. And so we can split it up. So we have five, plus one third plus three and one six. Three plus one six. Now the whole numbers we can simply add. Five plus three is eight. Now we have our fraction which is one divided by three. And the other I'm gonna leave a little bit of space plus one divided by six. Now, these are unlike denominators. So the bottom here is a three, the bottom here is a six. And with fractions, whenever you add or subtract them, they need to have the same denominator. They both need to be the same number. Now, I can change this three into a six by multiplying by two. And if I do it on one side, on like the denominator, I have to do it on the numerator. And so this right here would give us one times two is two, divided by three times two is six. So now I have the same denominator. They're both six. Six is here and six is here. So we'll just bring everything down. So one divided by six, and we'll also bring down our eight. So our eight will stay plus, now we can add the numerator. Two plus one, we get three divided by six. And so you could write this as eight and three six. But we could also simplify. And so what we could do is divide this piece by 3 and divide this by 3. And both pieces will be a whole number. So let's do that also. Um, so we have 8. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. So 8 and 1 half would be our final answer. And 3 divided by 6, that makes sense as 1 half. It's like you have, let's say, three dollars and you have six friends each friend would get like 50 cents it's the same thing as one half okay now this is the second problem same procedure we have a whole number here which is three and two divided by two here we have no number in front so it's like a, there's no whole number just a fraction just one third now this is interesting two divided by two we know two divided by two is one because it's like you have two dollars you have two friends each person would get a dollar. So instead of saying three plus two divided by two, you could write three plus one. And this is our fraction still, one third. Our next step is to combine the whole numbers. So three plus one, we know we get four, and we still have this fraction, which is one third. So four and one third would be our final answer. Okay, our last problem, same procedure. We have a whole number. We have a fraction, a whole number, a fraction. So we want to split it up first. So 5 plus 3 divided by 4 plus 2 plus 4 divided by 3. So we'll combine all of the whole numbers. So 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 3 divided by 4 plus 4 divided by 3. So denominators are different, so we can't just add this up because if the denominator is zero with fraction, you gotta have the denominator being the same. So we need to do something. Now, this is a three, this is a four. We wanna know the least common denominator. Now, if I multiply this piece by four, I would get 12. And I can also get 12 here if I multiply this piece by three. So if I times this by three, I gotta time the numerator by three. And if I times this piece by four, I got to times this, denom this numerator by 4. So let's bring this down. We have 7 plus, so 3 times 3 is 9, divided by 4 times 3 is 12, plus 4 times 4 is 16, and 3 times 4 is 12. So we can now um, add the numerator. So this 7, whole number stays, plus 9 plus 16 is 25, divided by 12. 
Now there's one more step because 25 divided by 12 will give you one piece, a whole number, and then a fraction. Because let's just do old fashioned division. Let's say you have 25 and you're dividing it by 12. Um, how many times does 12 go into 25? Um, two, at least two. Because two times 12 is 24. And when you subtract them, you have one, you have a remainder. So you have 1 divided by 12 as a remainder. So let's write this down. So we would get 7 plus 2 because 25 divided by 12 is 2 and some change. How much change is going to be? Well, 2 times 12 is 24. We have a 25. So 1 12th is the remainder. So now we just got to combine all the whole numbers. 7 plus 2 is 9. And our fraction is 1 12th. So we have 9 and 1 12th is our final answer. And so that's all we need to do when adding mixed numbers with unlike denominators.